Lee Do Hyun is one of the budding actors in recent years. When did you first hear of him? Before moving on, click on the subscribe button and bell for notification for Korean stars that we cover. Lee Do Hyun was born Im Dong Hyun on 11th April 1995 in Goyang, Gyeonggi-do, South Korea and his star sign is Aries. He is 182 cm tall. His favorite color is white, his favorite food is chicken, his hobbies are playing basketball, <laughs> guitar, and playing with his dog, Kaol, whom he once introduced to others as his daughter. He was a basketball player in high school. He hopes to become an actor like Song Kang-ho or Lee Byung-hyun, whose acting are trusted by the public. Lee Do-hyun is the eldest son and has a younger brother, Im Dong-hyuk, who has an intellectual disability. Perhaps relating to this, he wants to become known as a people-saving actor, giving hope to others through his acting. Lee Do-hyun studied at Chongang University in the Department of Film and Theatre. In 2017, Lee Do-hyun made his acting debut in the black comedy television series Prison Playbook, in which he portrayed the younger version of Jung Kyung-ho's character who played an elite prison guard. He also appeared in the short film, Summer Night. In 2018, Lee Do-hyun was cast in the romantic television series Still 17 in a supporting role as the member of the high school's rowing club. For his performance, he was nominated in the Character of the Year category alongside An hyo Sop and Jo hyun Shi. In the same year, he also appeared in Clean with Passion for Now, playing the female lead Kim Yoo Jung's younger brother and a promising Taekwondo athlete. In 2019, Lee Do-hyun joined the cast of the dark fantasy television series Hotel de Luna, alongside Yo Jin-gu and Ayu, whom he became close friends with later. The drama became one of the highest-rated Korean dramas in cable television. In the same year, he appeared in the special appearance in The Great Show. Lee Do-hyun also starred in the fifth drama of KBS drama specials, 10th season, in the episode Scouting Report in which he won the Best Actor in One Act Special Short Drama Award in the 33rd KBS Drama Awards. In 2020, Lee Do-hyun performed in his first leading role in the romantic comedy television series 18 Again, which was based on the 2009 American film 17 Again, where the main lead was Zac Efron. His performance in the drama earned him a lot of attention, leading him to NAB, the Best Actor Award at the 57th Baeksang Arts Award and Best New Actor Award at the 7th APAN Star Awards four years after his debut. However, he shared that his mindset has remained the same despite winning the award as he is someone who has to do his best every day. He believes that the award is thanks to everyone who helped him do his best. He will not get lost in the moment and will continue to work harder to showcase better acting. Later that year, he starred as Lee Eun Hyuk in the Netflix Sweet Home as Go Min Shi's elder brother. The drama was adapted from the webtoon of the same name and he played alongside co-stars Song Kang, Lee Shi Young, and Lee Jin Wook. He also participated in variety shows such as Running Man in episode 496. 499, 510, and 533, as well as Knowing Brothers in episode 246. In 2021, Lee Do-hyun appeared in the psychological thriller TV series Beyond Evil, where he played the younger self of Shin ha kyungs character, not forgetting Lee Do-hyun reuniting with Sweet Home's co-star Go min Shi in the mellow period drama Youth of May, a drama set in the 1980s during the Gwangju Uprising. Lee Do-hyun has about 4 million followers on Instagram and his net worth is said to be about $1 million. He also appeared in a few endorsements such as Mega Pass and Malibu Rum Korea. So what's coming next? Lee Do-hyun was confirmed to join the TVN drama Melancholia alongside Im Soo Jung. It tells the story of a math teacher and a genius math student at a corrupt private high school with preferential treatment. In one of the interviews, he said, I've been reading books and watching documentaries about math. Since it's a story about math, I'm working on not looking awkward while solving problems and writing mathematical symbols. What about his goals for the future? 
With a few years left before he turns 30, he would like to work on projects without resting. He would also like to make a film debut at some point in 2022. Let's continue to show him our support. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and see you on the next one!